Alright, hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install um, Damage Indicator for 1.7.2. It also works for 1.7.4. I'm not sure if it works for 1.7.5 though, right? Because that's a new update, but you guys can like, try, to, try it out. Um, Wardscraft. So first, we need to download um, Damage Indicator. And this one's like from the, the forum, right? Like before, I have my how to install... Um, mods and I linked you to the nine minecraft and apparently that one's a glitchy one right because this one's like an okay version so we clicked whatever we clicked <laughs> forgot what I clicked on so here's your, like your your damage indicator mod already downloaded I the Mozilla will be on the top right the Google Chrome will be on your bottom left so um now you would go to your like dot minecraft folder so Go to your search bar. I'm on Windows 8. It's really similar to um, Windows 7, right? You just do the represent app data percentage, and then press Enter. Yes, and then dot Minecraft. Your mods folder, like your mods folder, should be there. If you follow my tutorial, like I'll put the uh, the first link in the description below would be the um, installation video on how to get the the forge, right? You need forge to install mods. So you double click that and then you drag your um whoop what did I do? Um I'll let's hope I didn't <laughs> break anything. Alright, just drag and drop. Well if you can't drag and drop for like Google Chrome. Um you can just right click um go to downloads page. I don't know. Just check your folder, like downloads, and then uh, what was the thing called again? It was called Damage Indicator. Damage. Damage Indicator Damage. Or it won't be here, right? Because we've already moved it. Like, if, yeah, just go to your downloads folder if you don't. If you can't drag and drop from your your browser, right? All right. So once that's the damage indicator is inside your mods folder, just run your Minecraft. All right. So once you your Minecraft is loaded, press play. Then Minecraft uh, <laughs> Minecraft should crash. That's because you need a code. So this code will be in the description below. So what you do is you check the JVN arguments, press control V and that thing should be pasted and if you go to the start, right, the start of the coding, there's still supposed to be a space between the G and the dash, so press space and then press save profile and you press play and then Minecraft should run. Alright, so when Minecraft isn't opened you got four mods activated. Um, I also installed Optifine. If you want to install Optifine the Forge way, I have a video on that, and also I'll also put a link to that video also in the description below. So if you go to the mods tab, you see Optifine. Right, I already installed it along with Damage Indicator. Like there's four, one, two, three, four, and five. This Optifine doesn't count as one mod. It goes like to another thing. All right, so let's so that's how you install Damage Indicator. Now let's see it in action. So let's go to our creative world and see how it works. And I can see there's a cow over there. Let's check how many health he has. And there we go. We got um, his health. Um, okay. Now if you punch him, you see it does a critical damage. Um, let's, should I go? How about, let's take a sword. And we can see how much damage the sword does. Six damage. There's seven, right? Because, I don't know. Just do seven damage. And you see he has three health remaining. That means one more hit and he dies. There we go. Now, to change the uh, the, the image of the uh, of the thing, of damage, and you press a dot on your keyboard. And you can see, right, well, you can change the size of it. Mine seems okay, though, because I have a big uh, screen. So you can change the six, 66. 76, any size you want. The damage color means that when you, uh, the 
the mob loses health. I I usually change mine to like red, right? Because that's like blood damaged. I usually change to that. So I just play around with the color. And for blue, um, I put mine to blue, right? Because it's just like the contrast, but green seems like a good regen color. So if you hit it, it's red. Now to see the regen action, I was um, splashing with the regen potion, and he yeah he has two more health, and you see he's regening with a green number. Right, this mod's kind is not allowed in MCSG right because if you know the the player's health, it means that you have like an advantage over him because you know how much health or how, yeah how much health he has so. You may like go after him or not. Like this does the track player's health. Like if you press dot, no, that's space. I mean slash. Where's my dot? Dot right. Look, it has my health bar, and you can drag this also on your screen, like anywhere. You have it here, there. So if you, <laughs> I don't know why you don't put it there. Look, it's just kind of in the way. So that's why I put my um my thingy on the on top left right because nothing's right there and you can also change the I think it's the portrait isn't it portraits yeah that's what they're called portraits and then it's it's the select skin that's what's called you have the original that's the normal one um a cool dragon one or nothing well this one tells you if it's hostile or not right because if you go to there you see that's a non-hostile mob well if i go here spawn in like a, a hostile mob why can't i okay you're being weird there you go hostile mob spider let's say it's hostile right there spider oh is it just a spider okay what's well, ocelot ocelot is running away non-hostile villager what's villager Villagers, that kind of squid. Squid is non hostile. Skeleton? Skeleton is that. Oh, zombie. Yeah, oh, creeper. Creeper, yeah, we got all this. Yeah, there you go. So, paw print means hostile. Oh, we got different <laughs> symbols. This means different thing. Okay. Yeah, I guess this mod wouldn't be allowed on PvP servers, right? Because you know the player's health, but if. If there is no PvP on that server, I guess this mod is okay, right? Because it's just uh, help you uh, know the health of the, f the mobs around you. Like if you want to do a let's play, you know the mobs of other stuff. Like it's compatible with other mods too. Like I know it should be compatible with more creatures and tells you the health of every other mo creatures out there. Alright, that's all. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.